is the fact that I learn something every day and I write it down. Go make a very simple cartoon character. Okay. Yeah, click on Q. There you go. There you go. There's so many things you can do with this. We got him, no? You've done 90% of Blender at this point. Really? No. <laughs> Hello all, IRL Woody here. Today we are in the Upper West Side of Manhattan. We are going to my friend Rose's house. And what's interesting about this is that Rose is a first time Blender user, but she's a lot older than most Blender users. Rose is like 96 years old. Hello. Oh, the film crew is here. <laughs> the film crew is here, we're actually, we are. we are recording. Absolutely. We can see ourselves here in the, here in the monitor. <laughs> it looks so large in the frame. <laughs> Compared to Rose, look at me, I look so big. <laughs> you are. Yeah. Like, you look like you're six feet tall here. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not. You're not. No, I'm, I'm here with my friend, Dr. Rose, today. Rose. Nice to meet you. Tell us a little bit about yourself. I retired full time mm. in 1992. Okay. But I always had a part time job, and I'll be uh, going on 97. In May, I'm very proud to say, four years ago, I had an accident. <laughs> so it disabled my hip, but I get around pretty well at my age and I'm very satisfied. I love where I live. I have the great city of New York, who's been a great support system. My church has been remarkable. I have the best friends I've ever had. And uh, looking forward to more adventures like this. One of my proudest moments is that I work my way through all four degrees, and I have a PhD from Columbia University. Would you say that it's fair to say that you've spent your whole life learning new things or teaching them? Yes, right. Well, I think that you're a good candidate for what we're doing today. Well, I'm delighted to learn. And I said one of the things that keeps me alive and happy is the fact that I learn something every day and I write it down. There might be a lot to write down today. Yeah. <laughs> we were over here visiting with you some months ago. Yeah. And I showed you my VTuber setup. I showed you my 3D character. And do you remember what you said to me? You said you wanted 50 more years. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Can't say anything about how many years, but I can definitely help you learn a little bit of that today. For those who are unfamiliar, Blender is an open source platform. Anybody can use it. I use it quite a bit for work. And you can make almost anything in it at varying different degrees of complexity. We can make something today, but I'm kind of curious, like, what would you want to make? Anything that's sure. very simple, like step one, step two. Go make a very simple cartoon character. Okay. Blender starts with a couple things. It starts with a camera, it starts with a cube, and it starts with a little light. The cube is just there as a formality. You can delete it if you want to. You can hit the delete key or you can press X. A key? Delete. You oh, the delete. delete. Yeah, it's over in the corner. Got it. There you go. Delete. Okay, that's gone. Rose, you just deleted the default cube. Do you see this little circle right yes. here? That is the 3D cursor. Your mouse cursor is a 2D cursor. Blender has a three-dimensional cursor, which is this little thing. It kind of looks like a life preserver using a left uh, click. Uh, how about a cube? All right, yeah, yeah, click on cube. There you go. I see. So you've deleted a cube and you've added a cube. Okay. This is most of Blender. You've you've done 90% of Blender at this point. Really? No. <laughs> Do you want to make a smiley face? Yeah. We want to make a little character of some kind. Yes. We could, uh, we could do a cube, we could do a circle, we could use a sphere. A sphere is sometimes good for making like a little head. There you oh. Go. But that's a fun shape. Like you could yeah, make a character. Yeah, it is nice, like a little diamond almost. So if you hold down the shift key and you press the right click button again, you will move that so that it's on the surface of the shape. There you go, you did it, that's it. So what if we wanted to add like a set of eyeballs? Okay. Right. And you go to mesh, the mesh menu again. Right. Go to, just grab a UV sphere. And we go to UV sphere, okay. Yeah, so now you have another sphere here. That's uh, it's too big for an eyeball, right? So just try just try clicking and dragging on those little guys. Oh. Ooh, yeah, see that's good, so it's getting smaller. You're doing fantastic. <laughs> You're right, I am. feel dumb. <laughs> everybody feels this way when they learn Blender for the first time. Yeah. This is how everybody feels. But there's so many things you can do with it. It's so exciting. Yeah. Once you learn it. What kind of what kind of mouse should we make him? We could do a circle and we could like we could delete part of the circle and that would give us a, a Yeah, let's do a circle. 
So what I want you to do for me here is like, I'm gonna select a lot of these points. Can you hit the delete key for me? This one? The delete key up in the corner. Yeah, and then click on vertices. This almost looks like the uh, rabbit's face if you filled it in. Yeah. Like now, these could be the ears, you know? Yeah. Do you, want, do you want to turn it into a rabbit? Yeah, turn it into a rabbit. Let's turn it into a rabbit. That sounds awesome. Like, what does a rabbit need, right? A rabbit needs, like, bunny ears, right? Mm -hmm. I'm going to put our 3D cursor here. I put that little 3D cursor there. So what, what shape would we use? We could try a cube. Do you want to try a cube? A cube, okay. Yeah. Let's see, it's, like, way too, it's way too big. Are these supposed to be the ears here? Yeah. Eventually. <laughs> Are you making fun of me? What, yeah? Are you making fun of my ears? <laughs> They look more like columns than ears. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, Rose. <laughs> Gonna add a mirror. Oh, come on. This is happening on the wrong axis. See, there we go. There you go. There we go. That's, That's much better. Yeah. You're getting cuter and cuter. He's getting cuter and cuter. He sure is. These are his ears. Okay. Yep. Mm -hmm. Nose. Uh, so. Yeah. We got him. No? Yeah, but do you want to, do you want to, in color version? Oh, yeah, let's put them in color. I think we'll have a yellow rabbit. A yellow rabbit? You want to do a little yellow rabbit? A little yellow rabbit. If you click over on this little material shape right here, can you click on, on that a little left? Material? Yeah. Material. And then there's our yellow one. You can click on that again. Oh. There. We've got a yellow rabbit. Yeah, so there, so we have a rabbit now. We have we have different colors for him. <laughs> do, you, do you want me to make him jump up and down for you? Yes. Well, that think... is a very cute rabbit, <laughs> and I must say, your ears look very real right now. So what should we name him? Hopper. Happy. Happy, what? Happy the Rabbit. Happy Rabbit. Who's going to make a female rabbit? He needs a buddy. They have little baby rabbits. You give this lady one blender lesson, she's already making an extended cinematic universe. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, whole, whole universe. No, you did great today. You did excellent. Yeah. Well, I, yeah. I just thank you. Truly a brand new experience. Yeah, I, I wanted to give you some credit for that because there are a lot of people who are a lot younger than you who are like, hey, I, I'm too old for this. I don't want to learn a new skill. I don't want to do anything. But like, you just jumped into it today. No, there were, uh, Woody, that's really uh, a misconception. Yeah. Because I meet a lot of people, people in their 90s, First, learning all kinds of new skills. If, what, are you, what are you gonna do with the instructional video? I think a lot of people are gonna really get a kick out of seeing you try Blender for the first time. Would you put it on the social media then? Yeah, it'll yeah. go on my YouTube channel. Okay. I'll send you a link. Yes, okay. Yeah. And could you charge for it? Oh, I wouldn't want to. Isn't it, it was supposed to get 100 viewers and ask them for a dollar each. Would that be a problem? <laughs> That's not exactly how YouTube works. And could you get like subscribers? Do you think people should subscribe to this channel? Yeah. Yeah? Okay, well you guys heard it from Rose, not from me. We could do this again sometime. I, okay. Yeah? Oh, I'd love it, yeah. Oh, that'd be great. Anything I can learn, I just love. A life full of learning is a life well lived, right? Yeah, I find your work extremely creative. And I wonder how in the world do you get any sleep when these ideas will not stop coming? I, I do wake up in the middle of the night and write ideas down. Well, great. Okay, I think, I think that's a wrap then. I think, we, I think we did it. Thank you, Woody. So a little update. Since we recorded this video, uh, Rose has actually just uh, turned 97. It turns 97 today on the day of this recording. In fact, actually after this is done, I'm going to her apartment to celebrate with some friends for her 97th birthday. It does sort of like invalidate the title and thumbnail that this has happened. If you want to leave Rose a comment, just like leave it down below and I'll make sure she sees them all. I also made sure that Rose had a copy of Blender on her computer. Someone in her life who takes good care of her technology was able to get her a pretty good PC, so I was able to just install it for her before I left. Happy birthday, Rose, and uh, this is so much fun to, to get to hang out and get to make 3D stuff, and here's to many more.